Thank you, Professor Erickson. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Time to present the award to the 2014 Millennium Technology Prize winner. I would now call upon uh, Mr. President and Dr. Gustafsson to present the award. Please, Professor Parkin, I believe the stage is yours. children here, they all participated in a technology competition meant for Finnish elementary schools. And this annual competition is called This Works, and I have to say, this works as well. And now, a long-awaited moment for us, and for him as well, I presume, Ladies and gentlemen, the 2014 Millennium Technology Prize winner, Professor Stuart Parkin. Okay, well, uh, good afternoon. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank the President and the Excellencies and all of you here today uh, for being here. And I'd like to particularly thank the Technology Academy of Finland for this uh, 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 honor, uh, for awarding me the, the, this 2014 Millennium Technology Prize. And I'd particularly like to thank Chancellor Professor Yari Ture Eriksson and the International Selection Committee for their excellent work. <laughs> now, I'm greatly honored to have received the Millennium Technology Prize because in just 10 years, it has established itself as one of the most important and prestigious prizes in the scientific and technological worlds. World. And for me, the prize is especially meaningful because it uh, recognizes innovation. And my own personal belief is that carrying out research at the intersection of science and technology is the most rewarding of all endeavors. So to attempt to expand the frontiers of human knowledge and at the same time to do this with an awareness of its potential impact in helping to solve some of the world's most important challenges or in developing technologies that can really make a difference to our lives and to society is extremely exciting and thrilling. So at IBM, I've been very fortunate to have had exactly this opportunity to carry out exploratory fundamental research that has led and that I hope will lead in the future to even more exciting and impactful technologies. Now, if I just say a few words about my own work, this is focused on what you might call uh, engineered materials, engineered materials that we can uh, uh, engineer by atomic scale manufacturing, atomic scale engineering. And today it's true that we can build innovative materials by uh, engineering them one atomic layer at a time. This is quite remarkable. And yet we can do this on the immense scale that is necessary for modern methods of mass manufacturing. So if you like, we can create unnatural materials, materials that uh, you cannot find in nature with properties that we can engineer to allow them to be useful for many innovative applications. And I believe that I've been particularly fortunate that my work in spintronics, which involves atomically engineered materials in which we control the flow of currents of spin polarized electrons, could so immensely increase our ability to store digital data that we can indeed now access all of mankind's knowledge almost instantly. And of course, in some sense, this has fundamentally changed the way we store and recall 
even our own memories. Now, in the future, I hope to research and engineer uh, materials and devices that could even change the way we think. I think this is a, a very exciting challenge. And, of course, the importance of the award is also, for me, a hope that I will be able to develop uh, collaborations with scientists and technologies in Finland and have an opportunity to come back many times in the future to Finland. Now, indeed, as was mentioned earlier, next year I'm moving to, uh, returning to Europe and moving to the Max Planck Institute for Microstructure Physics and the Martin Luther University in Halle in Germany, although I'm going to maintain a position also at IBM. And together with an Alexander von Humboldt Professorship Award, I'm planning to set up an international center for nanosystems to explore especially cognitive devices that could enable extremely energy efficient computing. So we're still no match for our own brains that think perhaps a million times more efficiently than today's silicon-based computers. So this is a great challenge that will need the brightest minds from across the world. And today, the scientific community is truly a global one. So I've already enjoyed this week immensely. I'm particularly impressed with the Technology Acad Academy Finland, uh, particularly in the way that it encourages and explains to young people how exciting and complex is the natural world. And in my mind, there's nothing more rewarding and exhilarating than being given the opportunity to probe its secrets. It really is amazing that there are so many more secrets to unlock. Now, finally, I want to thank uh, Claudia Felser, my fiancé, just for her wonderfulness. But, uh, again, I'd like to thank the Technology Academy Finland for having chosen me to receive this uh, marvellous award. And I'm truly very proud and uh, greatly humbled to have been awarded this prize. So thank you extremely much. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Parkin. And now we have the privilege of being addressed by the President of the Republic of Finland, Mr. Sauli Niinistö.